the 547, wind 19016, runway 22 right, clip takeoff. Runway 22 right, clip for takeoff, Delta 547. Air traffic controllers protect our nation's airways. These are the stories of real air traffic controllers to boldly deliver a safe, orderly, and expeditious flow of air traffic from their departure point to their final destination. The Challenger disaster had happened that year. And so all the astronauts were sitting over here at NASA. They, you know, in 1987, the middle of 87, they had nothing to do. So they heard about the program and they sent the astronauts over to do the program. One thing I didn't tell you is in the afternoon, we, you know, we would go into classroom, have classroom all morning, have discussions, have controllers visit in and ask, answer questions. And, but it was really a classroom environment. In the afternoon, we'd go up to the DICEM and we'd plug these, the people in and we'd let them work traffic. So we'd set it up at College Station. We'd have four or five airplanes coming into College Station. They had to use the phraseology, key the mic, feel what the controller's doing, and line those airplanes up and land them on runway 16 at College Station. And it was hilarious, was it not, Bob? We had more fun with that. And one particular astronaut, his name is Hoot Gibson, who came in there, he almost ran two or three airplanes together. He had five airplanes coming <laughs> into College Station. And the great thing about Hoot, he actually became kind of a friend. You know, he called me and said, hey, I want to come back and bring some other free birds. He came back. He wanted, to, he wanted to tackle that job, you know. And uh, he just loved it. He loved it. And he came back, and I think we gave him five airplanes. He said, I want more. And I gave him seven, and then, you know, it was fantastic. So... He, uh, he went on to control STS-27, and I just want to say that we need a program like that today, and here's the reason why. The technology in the cockpit is stupendous, and nobody is looking outside, well, I shouldn't say nobody. Some of us old guys who transitioned from digital equipment to EFIS, just like we did in air traffic, we went from strips to this, that, and the other. You know, we had to get used to that. We all made mistakes. Well, even today, I don't think there's anything that really teaches people how to fly an airplane safely in the air traffic system with all this advanced technology they're looking at. And I wish somebody starts something like that, and I'm in if somebody does. Anyway, that's all I got to say.